just what you make it. I feel like I'm lazy. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so crazy. It's like I'm escaping. All this shit that I'm laying in is only the foundation. I've been going crazy. What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video. So it's been, feels like it's been a while since I've done a video. So I've just been really busy to be honest. Um, trading, creating content. So I've got a Discord now, so I've been creating content in that. Um, just improving myself, different aspects of life as well. And just overall, just improving different parts of my life, my goals. Uh, really been hitting 22, 22 hard so far. Really impressed with how things have gone so far. So just keen to just keep that momentum strong, which was built up from last year and just take it forward to the rest of this year really. So really looking forward to the rest of the year. Um, quick update on the market. So I haven't taken a trade as of yet today. I had a buy order set on Euro dollar long. Um, price moved up, missed my entry. Price has then since moved down, removed my entry, and now I'm still looking for potential long still. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens with the Euro dollar. Pound dollar um, needs a lot more development, so I'm just kind of waiting for a larger pullback. And then pound yen has we've just had a bullish initiation in a state of you know bullish order flow, bullish trend. So price is just continuing to the upside. So at some point I'm expecting a bigger pullback. So when that happens, I look to um, get long on that if the opportunity presents itself. But yeah, euro dollar is the main watch today. There's two areas of um, interest that I'm looking at. So if price moves into those areas, price is currently in one. So if we get a clear reaction from this area, then I'll be looking to get long. If not, there's a further area that could be um, mitigated just below that as well. So looking for that. But yeah, quick update on overall things. So I'm currently going through a little bit of a learning phase again. Personally, with my style right now, I don't think that I'll be changing any big, subtle, uh, big things. So I think going forward, there'll just be subtle little amendments here and there. I'm not looking for those 10% improvements anymore. I'm looking for, you know, little, point one things that's going to make a difference so that's really where my focus is um, and that's why i said i'm watching content trying to go through some stuff trying to just implement a few different things and just learn a bit more really learn, there's a few topics that i really want to learn about a little bit more including things like uh daily and weekly, weekly cycles of price action so i'm just really trying to learn about that in a little bit more detail i have i have knowledge on it but i really want to improve that aspect of my game so that's what I'm focused on right now. Um, and yeah, that's the focus really. Obviously I go through phases, I've talked about this before, where I'll have a phase of learning, followed by a phase of, you know, going and testing that learning, experimenting and just applying that knowledge. So Q1, Q2 last year was learning, really intense learning, but really, really intense learning. Um, it was a hard period to be honest. And then Q3, Q4, implementing that knowledge, re went really well, really happy with the results, really happy with the way things went to end 2021. Big end of the year, so grateful for that, and a good start to 2022 as well. Now I'm just, um, I'm implementing more things, like I said before, learning period, but at the same time, I'm still, you know, still applying the same knowledge as before. Thing is, within my training right now, I've got a system, I've got a system that works, I've got an edge, all I need to do is just stick to that edge. I just need to show up every day, stick to the edge, follow the probabilities. Trading, I feel like, can be very simple once you've got an edge down. It just, obviously, there's just a few things that crop up in the meantime, but um, yeah, just keen to just execute now. So really excited for the year. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated throughout the year, uh, throughout, the, throughout the year as well, but throughout the day. And yeah, we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens. What's good, so just finished up filming a video for discord and it's regarding a profit taking system now this is an, an important system to put in place because obviously you, as your skill set increases and you start taking profits it's very important that you pay yourself 
like I've been in that situation before where you let 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to 1s pull back to break even and you don't really walk away from with the markets from anything. Now everyone's going to have different perspectives on this but I'm a big believer in paying yourself because not only are you building your confidence up, you're also building your self image up, you're building the habit of winning and that's a very important habit to build. Like most people forget winning is an actual habit, like it's important to reinforce that time and time and time again and most people do the opposite. Most people reinforce losing. Now by putting habits in place such as paying yourself, even if it's such as like what I do in terms of a three to one partial, for example, 20% volume of the trade, such a small little thing, but if you're walking away from the trade with a winning trade, you've obviously built your confidence a little bit more, you're sticking to the system, you're letting your edge play out, and even if you take a break even in that example, you've still walked away from the trade from something because you've already banked your profits early into the trade. Whereas most people get in that cycle of losing trades, and it's very easy to, re to repeat that process of you know, negative, negative habits of actually losing. And you don't want to practice losing, you want to practice winning. So just recorded a video in that, really enjoying the videos and really enjoying with speaking to people as well, one-to-one -one and our group calls. We just had a live Q&A last Saturday. It was incredible that like we got quite a few people joining from different areas and it was good to like connect, just see what part of the journey everyone's on, how I can help, um, certain realizations and just chit chat so it was really good um but yeah just finished up that so that's gonna be dropping on the dashboard in the next few days really looking for people's feedback on that but um yeah overall pound dollars developing now so remember before i said i was looking at euro dollar euro dollar now needs a little bit more time um hasn't really formed too much has dropped a little bit lower um, but pound dollar is in the area of interest that i was looking at so i'm looking at uh, potentially a long opportunity um, but at the same time I have to factor in because I'm obviously FTMO um, there is there's something 12 what is it let me just have a look checked it before actually uh, yeah stuff like the official bank rate monetary uh, monetary policy things like that so that's coming out at 12 um, and that's a restricted event so just gonna be patient but um, yeah, I'm expecting something to develop on pound dollar, so we'll see if we can get an entry coming into this afternoon, coming into New York Open, because it's 11, 11, 11 now. So we'll see what happens, and we'll see what happens coming into New York. Right, so it's currently 25 past one in the UK. I haven't taken any trades today, and it's kind of a protect the capital kind of day, because there's been pretty much tons of new event events this morning and this afternoon, and price is very erratic so you see this little price action here like that's something that I'm not interested in so I'm just staying out of the markets for now sometimes it's about knowing when to stay out of the markets not always getting involved in the markets so just being patient letting things develop um, the closest one that I would be looking at potentially is your dollar but it's not in my interest right now so just being patient staying focused on the plan the system and just letting the edge play out but in the meantime, focus on the next trade, focus on preparing everything I can do, and then when the trade comes, execute. What's up guys, it's a little bit later on now, so it is 10 past seven, I haven't taken any trades today, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, it was quite a, it's quite a, you know, a news eventful day. There was a lot of news come out today. Um, we had a lot of movement in the markets, but also there wasn't any trades that I would personally take. So happy just stepping away from the markets a little bit. Um, I was still waiting for opportunities, just nothing really showed. I did have an order set this morning, didn't trigger, so just left the markets from there. Um, there was potential opportunity on euro dollar again, but nothing really developed as to my entry So just left the markets as it is, but I just wanted to use this opportunity to like highlight the importance of You can't expect a certain amount of trades per month or per week Like the market doesn't work like that. For example I'm gonna, just gonna read some highlights from the last four months of data so October 2021 I took 38 trades throughout the month, right? November, 28. December, 
11. January, 18. So you know what I mean, you can't force the opportunity to the market. You can't say, right, I'm gonna have five trades per week or I'm gonna have one trade per week or I'm gonna have X amount of trades per week. It doesn't work like that. You need to just adapt. You need to learn to just stick to your setup, stick to your system, stick to your edge. And whenever that edge presents itself, take the trade. Whenever it doesn't, learn to take a step back from the markets, learn to not be in the markets. That's an art, that's a skill in itself and I think that's hard for people to master. And early days, that was hard for me to master as well. I always wanted to be in the markets, always wanted to, you know, trade. And if I wasn't trading, I felt like I was doing something wrong. But over time, you just realize that you're not doing anything wrong. It's just the market cycle. Some weeks can be very busy. Like, I think it was not last week, the week before. I think it took six trades in a week, and that's quite a busy week for me. Whereas this week, I've taken two trades. So one win, one, one loss. Pretty, pretty quiet week so far. It's Thursday. Tomorrow, we've got NFP as well. So... There's a good chance I may not even take anything tomorrow, unless there's something early doors, but you know what I mean? So you just gotta, you can't judge yourself, you can't judge the market week by week or month by month. You just gotta let the edge play out and literally just have the discipline to stick to the system. So yeah, overall quiet day, overall pretty quiet week, but overall good start to the year though, happy with the way things are going. Um, yeah, not really making any mistakes anymore. I feel like Q3, Q4, there were still some mistakes creeping in here and there. Whereas now it's a very, it's very rare that I make a mistake. Funnily enough, I actually made a small error this week, but apart from that, that's been the first time I've made a mistake in a while. So it's, it just highlights the importance of having a system, having a criteria, sticking to that, and just being consistent. It's literally just that. I feel like, I'm not sure whether I've said this before, but trading can be very simple once you have an edge, once you have a strategy, once you have you know, your, your system in place becomes very simple to execute. It's just our natural tendency as humans just to overthink, just to overcomplicate, start to add more things in, start to take things away. It's, it's just natural. But if you just stick to your system, let it play out, see the results all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna tune out. I may decide to film tomorrow morning, maybe, um, just because I feel like it's obviously a full day of trading. I haven't taken a trade, but this is the reality of trading. Like once again, like I'm not gonna, force a trade just because it's on camera. I'm doing what I day, do day to day. If there's no trade, I'm not going to take a trade. Simple as. So, see what happens tomorrow morning. I may decide to film, um, but we'll see. Well, I'm just going to dig into some markups now, and then I'm going to do some analysis, and then really just wind down for the evening, really have food, um, and just prepare myself for tomorrow. Right, so it's Friday night. I haven't taken another trade. And yeah, like I said yesterday on the video, it's just one of those things where it's been quite it's quite a slow week in the markets, but that's literally how it goes sometimes. Like I'm not gonna take a trade just for the camera. Like I'm not about that. Like I'm sticking to my plan, I'm sticking to my process, sticking to my system. If there's no trade that fits my criteria, I'm not taking the trade. It's been quite a news packed couple of days as well. So we had NFP today, where they've been the start of the month. And then we had ECB yesterday, followed by like monetary policy. There was a lot of Euro news yesterday, which is why we saw, obviously as a side effect, um, a lot of movement in the markets, which is already priced in in advance anyway. But um, obviously we've seen a lot of volume in the markets yesterday. So yeah, slightly slower week, just two trades for me early on in the week. So I think I took a trade Monday and Tuesday, or Monday and Wednesday. I think it was Monday and Wednesday maybe. But um, yeah, one, one win and then one loss, balanced out, finished overall and positive by a little bit. But yeah, it's just one week, quite a slow week, like I said before, but um, it's the way it goes. Like one thing that I had to learn early on within my trading journey, I think it was around 2019, is that I obviously came from a nine to five background. I had a nine to five for 18 months and that was enough for me to get comfortable with the process of, you know, expecting a certain amount of income each month. So for people that work in a nine to five for 10, 20, 30 years, it must be a lot more multiplied, if that makes sense. So when it comes to trading, you have to accept that it's not, it's not gonna be like that. It's not gonna be like that in terms of income. It's not gonna be like that in terms of trades taken. Everything works different when you work for yourself. Everything works different when you're in the markets. Like you can't expect five trades per week. You can't expect 10 trades per week. You could get two one week, and then you get five the next week, and then the next one after that could be seven. Like you don't know the amount, you don't know how you don't you don't know the frequency, and you don't know how many trades are actually going to occur. So 
It's the same with that, it's the same with income in regards to trading. Like you could get a very slow month, but then you could get a very active month the next month. And it kind of balances itself out over the course of three months. So I've had like with the last three months, I've I think one of the months was quite quite slow, still positive, but then the other three months have been quite good. So like it balances itself out over the course of three months, over the course of six months. So it's just something you have to accept, and it took me a little while to accept that for myself, but something that I think I bring up because it's related to what we're going through right now in the market spot. Yeah, overall great week, slightly slower like I said before, but on to the next week, Friday night now, I'm about to hit the gym um, and just wind down for the evening. I'm gonna do a markup later, analysis, and then really just reset for tomorrow. And then Saturdays when I do things like advanced self-review, so I'm gonna be going through the trades that I've taken this week, um, obviously jotting them down, so I use a journal called Edgewonk. So I'll be noting everything down in my journal, screenshots, reasons why I took the trade, um, fitting the criteria obviously, prices I got in at, total profit and loss, everything else in between that goes in the journal. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, followed by another market breakdown, followed by any markups from this week that I've maybe missed. I don't think I've missed any this week anyway, uh, but sometimes there might be one or two where I'm busy for a period of time so I couldn't do it, so I'll catch up. Um, and then just learning really, so good weekend ahead, I'm looking forward to it but I'm gonna to get to the gym now before it goes dark and smash a workout. So overall, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry there's no trade on this one, but it's just one of those things, I can't, I can't control that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the next one. And if you haven't already, go back and watch the previous episodes of this series, obviously episode one to five, especially episode five as well. You'll be able to see the progression as things go in time. So yeah, have a look at that. But in the meantime, have a great weekend. And I'll speak to you all guys, I'll speak to you guys soon.